so we had like the porcupine bracelet and all you need is one million and we found a million so I'm gonna use another million and you will need another million and that's it what's the site you're just going upward on heels like that until the end. I'm gonna do this. I got this idea of the porcupine when I messed up on a super single bracelet. going until the very, very end. But next, now it should look like this with all your colors. Now, you just want to skip the first three because you need to get everyone now. So, you just want to go like that. And you'll be on a roll. So let me just do that and I'll speed it up. Your rubber band bracelet will kind of look like an actual porcupine. It will quill. It will quill just like a porcupine in real life. It looks like it's made out of rubber bands. And the C-clip, or the next clip, or the clip is the optional one. I'll show you how to clip it. Well, hopefully you know how to clip it, but I'll show you how to tie it together. If you do not own a clip. that these go above all of them. And when you get to the last one, you do not have to stop. Okay, so now your ring should look like this. Now what you're going to do is flip it over. So the arrow is pointing towards you. What you want to do, you want to take, you're just looping them to the next thing, or you're looping the first rubber band to the second pin.
Shout out to Matthew F. Owen Peace. His birthday is tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow. with a plan is harder than I thought. This is a show to the end. Now what you want to do, you want to do this, you want to start taking it off now. You might need to kind of steer your around a little to get all of them off. You might have to steer it around a little. You will need to around I should say you really will. And now it should look like this. And then I'm going to show you how to tie it. Hopefully you know how to C clip it or X clip it. And if not a friend or someone can teach you. Okay, so you have those three sides. You want to insert a rubber band. So it's like making a single loop. But when you want, you actually want to cross it over your fingers. And you want to pull it. And there you have it. You have your own, very own porcupine paper. See you next time.